What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Free Agent Fan Podcast. And I'm just going to start with uh, last night. I was sitting watching television, just enjoying myself. Watching some, uh, I think, Power to Tommy story or something with the wife. And uh, got a text message from my nephew. And it was saying, did you see Will Smith smack Chris Rock? on the Oscars. Now, I don't watch the Oscars, so I, of course, didn't see it live. And my nephew's known for being a bit of a prankster, so you know, I was like, nah, that didn't happen. It can't be true. So I text him back, nah, that didn't happen, man. You joking, right? So he sent me a link to a YouTube video. And I went out, watched the video, and I was in shock. I couldn't believe what I saw, couldn't believe what had happened, but it was true. So got me to thinking and so I started going online seeing everybody's comments hearing what everybody had to say I'm like okay this is this is major this is big because normally I don't usually I usually pick a topic and just podcast on something I feel is relevant and but this is relevant because it's happening now I'm usually not podcasting the next day after something but I may start in the future who knows but anyway I'm just going to drop a few nuggets of uh, my thoughts on this after listening to and watching other people's comments. And first off, I want to, I've been seeing a lot of people making a comment of, you know, it's like, it's us, it's black people, you know, why, why did this have to happen? Uh, to my understanding, I don't know if it's the first time, but I think it may be the first time black producer, Will Packer, and, you know, it kind of, kind of put some gloom or, you know, took a bit of the light away from everything they was doing you know you had two female uh black hosts and a lot of stuff going on you know a lot of good black uh entertainers performing throughout and it just kind of put a uh took some of the shine off of it you know when all of this happened so my question well my first question would be was that joke wrong and was the slap wrong? My answer to that is, I wouldn't necessarily say, it, it depends, you know, there's a lot of context, t- context that goes into that, context that goes into that, that whether or not that joke was wrong. Did he know that uh, Jada was going through what she's going through? I don't know, we don't know, nobody knows. You know, uh, only Chris Rock knows that. And if he did still, was it wrong? He's a comedian. So, you know, I kind of side with the, uh, I go to the defense that, you know, he's a comedian. That's what they do. They do things. And I hear a lot of people online saying, uh, you know, sometimes you just can't say any and everything that you want to say and this and that is disrespectful. And yeah, in certain situations, yes, I, w- I will back that. I will stand on that. You know, it's not like I was sitting in the audience and I made the joke, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a comedian. You know, I know I tell jokes, but I'm not a comedian, you know, and that's kind of what comedians do, you know, and and separating from that, you know, later I tell you, you know, that's not even the issue for me. You know, the issue for me and we, I get into that a little bit later is how he handled it was the slap wrong for me. The slap was definitely wrong. One hundred percent wrong, you know, uh, in that moment where he did it, how he did it. <clears throat> I'll be honest with you. I'm not all upset that upset that he slapped him, if that's what you felt you had to do. I'm upset that he did it where he did it. When he did it on national television, on stage while the man is uh, presenting, you know. I watched uh, Shannon Sharp and I watched Ricky Smiley and I saw uh, John Leguizamo's comments on this and I applaud all three of them because they didn't jump on the side of, you know, Will Smith protecting his wife and this and that, you know. They all agree that that's just an inappropriate time for that. You know, it's just, it was just wrong. You know, and all y'all out there, you know, uh, Will, you know, you can see more black men protect their white. I'm going to piggyback on what Ricky Smiley said, and he's absolutely right. There's a lot of black men or men in general in prison because they handled something wrong or dead because they handled it wrong, trying to protect or do this or do that. You can protect your wife and protect your family, but you can also do it smartly. You know, and he was the aggressor in this. Will, it ain't like Rick, uh, Chris Rock came down there and smacked him. 
and then said the joke. You know, he went up there and put his hands on that man. Not cool. You know, and and it got me to thinking, you know, how is this going to impact uh, their work? You know, like, you know, Will Smith, like right now, I, I watch the uh, show Bel Air. I love it. I'm a Will Smith fan. I'm a Chris Rock fan. I ain't. You know that hasn't changed as of yet I'm, I'm getting a little more frustrated the more i listen to the stuff circling around this you know the more i'm getting uh upset with how we'll handle it but i'm still a fan of his work you know what i'm saying that you know it is what it is if, if i can still listen to R. kelly music i can still listen watch will smith movies but you know that's a whole other story but you know and chris rock as well you know i just i just think that for Will, I think is kind of, it might possibly impact his legacy. You know, I've, I've heard that tossed around and I kind of agree with that on a certain level, depending on how he handles this going forward. I do still think he owes Chris Rock an uh, apology and perhaps Chris Rock owes Jada an apology. You know, for me, that would be a reasonable conclusion to this you know like i i apologize and man and i may quote uh, or piggyback off ricky smiley throughout this because his he said some of the most realist stuff you know what i'm saying get a man time to say you know to give that apology if that's what it is you know just don't just go up there and slap him you know and i agree with ricky you know i also agree a lot with shannon sharp too because shannon sharp was like you know i would have beat his a you know what i'm saying you know i'm not there yet you know and you know that's that's my response and you know it's not the right response it's not smart you know i applaud chris for how he handled that that was you know it's a lot of us out here who should get to that level but anyway uh i think that it will somewhat impact will smith's legacy and not so much in a good way if he doesn't clean this up in a positive way you know i could be wrong you know maybe people don't care you know i mean is there really that many people out there that don't like chris rock they're like oh yeah well so what you know well you did you know and i've been seeing that online too yeah he got what he deserved because apparently chris has been doing this for quite some time now he has been uh joking he said something about another i guess another oscars or somewhere that they didn't show up or they were boycotting it and he said it's okay nobody invited you anyway i don't watch the oscars so i don't know i had to google and look all this up or hear it from somebody else i stopped watching the oscars a long time ago <clears throat> uh, i think when uh you know because i think i i think i got a bad taste in my mouth when you know we got all these good actors and i think when denzel and holly berry first won Oscars it was in some of their roles where they were you know just not the most upstanding black people but anyway uh as far as Chris Rock's career I don't know it oddly uh, being a comedian it, it might actually help propel his career because I can see it now I can see Saturday Night Live calling him want to get in on that you know let's do some skits on that uh I can see Netflix calling him saying hey you want to do a a show we you know they throwing money at people left and right truckloads of money to do shows so i could see that and you know and the host said you know he gonna say something about it you know joke about it you know we'd all want to hear because she was just in my head alone i thought of a million jokes he could say you know as far as that you know he could he could joke about whether or not the smack hurt it or you know he smacked like a girl or he, i mean just you can go all kind of ways you know any any comedian i'm pretty sure a lot of comedians was like Oof, man you do a lot of work on that so i think that it may actually end up doing a little good for chris rock especially the way he handled it too you know that's that's something else too that i don't know too many people that would have handled it the way he did and i think uh if i recall i think ricky smiley probably i think he said that you know he probably would have got busy with him too you know he said all all of uh you know the hood would have came out basically in so many words but and i could see that you know so heads off to chris rock and I, you know and I, truth be told i i really i really hope they clean this up and that it doesn't really impact either one of their careers because uh and negatively rather because i i don't i like both of the dudes and i don't want to see you know that you know this impact their careers and their legacy but i think it may be if we don't do something quick 
it may impact them negatively, but you know. So they brought me to my next question. I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, because I started reading other people's posts and I'm like, hmm, you know, just seeing stuff, you know, comments here and there, like some of my Facebook friends and some of them were saying, uh, had that been like Dave Chappelle or uh, D.L. Hughley or somebody, you know, any other comedian and a partner of mine, a good friend of mine was like, man, can you imagine if that would have been Terry Crews? You think he would have went up there and did that to Terry Crews? I don't think it's too many people <laughs> that would have went up there to Terry Crews or The Rock or somebody like that. Or he's Shannon Sharp. I know you, if that would have been Shannon Sharp up there, you wouldn't have went up there. But, um, uh, they, they probably like, yeah, I leave my name out of this. I don't want no parts of this, but I don't think that, I don't think he would have, you know, in my honest opinion, I think he picked the right person to do that on because, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people, let me just say this. A lot of people are saying that, ah, oh, you know, he, he should have been, uh, what's the dude, uh, August, uh, Alicina or whatever. That's who he should have been smacking and this and that. And I agree with that 100%, but you know, I had a nice little debate with a, my cousin and you know, she's like, oh, everybody just too focused on that dude and the entanglement or whatever, you know. And, you know, she kind of, she's a supporting of Will, what Will did. And which I disagree with what he did. And I don't think it's people focusing so much on the entanglement or whatever, the cheating or whatever, this and that. I think people are just more like, dude, you got to be kidding me, man. You, you get upset about a joke, but you didn't get upset about your wife and some other dude enough to go smack somebody? Come on, man. I mean, I, I'm i like, eh, well, I don't know. Maybe this brother wired differently, you know, as opposed to what gets you upset. And everybody like, well, you know, he was just at his breaking point. Hey, I'm at my breaking point with my wife cheating. That's that's just me. Or I guess not so much cheating because I guess now that I hear they had an open relationship. But, you know, I guess she kind of broke the rules or whatever. I don't know, fell in love or you know, got caught up feelings. You're not supposed to do that. I don't know the rules of an open relationship, so I ain't going to speak much on that. But <clears throat> when apparently after watching those videos, he looked like he was pretty torn up from that red table confession that she did. And seems like to me, man, that should have got you a little more riled up than a joke. But, you know, and like a lot of people saying, you know, it wasn't until you saw her facial expression and I saw the facial expression. Now, me personally, yeah, that was me and my wife sitting there and something like that happened. And I looked over and I saw her make that facial expression. I would have just kindly tapped her on the arm and be like, don't worry about it, baby. I'll take care of it. And I would have took care of it backstage with that brother. Like, again, I'm quoting Ricky Smiley. Like Ricky Smiley said, you go up and you have a conversation with that man. Give him a chance to say, you know, hey, man, I apologize or whatever. I'm wrong. Or like Ricky said, or he may say, man, I said what I said. F you. Fuck you and her. And then you do what you got to do. But you give them that opportunity and that's that's how I would have handled that. But, you know, we all different because I've been pushed to my limit before. And But see, what I realized in my age, and I ain't got nearly as much to lose financially or monetarily as Will Smith. But I do have a lot to lose as far as freedom goes. And I think about these things before I just go pop off and just go beat somebody's ass. You know, that's that's just something you got to think about. You know, because I don't want to spend time in jail. I know a lot of people who have a lot of family members and they ain't coming out like, oh, it's the greatest time I ever had, man. You should go and get in there. I'm good. I like being out here. So I, I think before I leap, you know, and my people, oh, it make you soft. No, nah, it just makes you smart, man. Because, you know what I'm saying? If you now, if you put your hands on me first, like, because now if Chris Rock would have just drug his ass, he was in his rights. Because he done slapped him, you know. So, and I'm from Missouri and we a stand your ground state. So, whatever happens after that, that's your ass, brother. That's, you know, that's, it's a wrap. Yeah, my life was, I felt my life was threatened. So, you got a right to do what you got to do. But, so, you know, that's some of the other stuff I was seeing. If it was some somebody different, would he have reacted in the same way? You know, even a different comedian or, you know, The Rock, you know, and I was thinking like, okay, what if it was Kevin James or a female, you know, uh, I know Tiffany Haddish would have never made that joke because she's a friend of theirs, but 
you know, uh, Samoa or somebody. I don't know. See, you know, what would he have done? Would he have went up there and slapped them? I, I hope, you know, and I like think, I ain't gonna say I hope, man. I, I, I'm a fan enough of Will Smith to say that I, I don't think Will Smith would slap a woman. At least I don't think that. I don't think that. Like that, you know, I don't, I, I think he knew what he was doing. He picked the right person. You know, it was Chris Rock. He size wise, physically, you know, you know, and, and, and ain't nothing wrong with that. You size a person up before you fight him. Like, okay, am I about to take an L or, you know, oh, I think I got this one. And I think that's kind of what he's thinking when he walked up there. You know, yeah, I'm pissed at the same time because, you know, you think differently if it was Terry Crews standing there. And it's like, okay, I'm pissed. I'm going to smack the shit out of this dude. But it's going to be some consequences that I probably won't be able to handle if I go slap Terry Crews. So there is that. But, you know, we all make that decision. And I guess he made that decision in the moment as he was walking up there. But I think I think he knew, you know, and Chris Rock. You know, I mean, even if Chris Rock had to retaliate, I think he figured oh, I can handle his retaliation. You know, I'm, I'm going I'm to come out on top on this one. So I'm going to go and do what I want to do. But Chris Rock, again, he handled it. He handled it for me. He handled it like a man. You know, that's uh, and I know it's going to be some people out there that disagree with that. But sometimes as a man, you got to handle things professionally. And the brother went on, you know, and I could see in his face. He, he wasn't happy about it. You know what I'm saying? He is a man and he was upset about it. But he's like, OK, I got a job to do. Let me finish my job. I don't know what the hell just happened here. Uh, told jokes numerous times. I ain't never been slapped for him. But all right, let's move on. So, you know, I don't I personally, as far as that questions circling around i don't think he would have did it i think he knew exactly what he was doing when he went up there and slapped chris rock he knew he could handle that even if chris rock got upset so anybody else up there i highly doubt you know you know it's a select few that he would have went up there and did that too and chris rock one of them so there that is now at the end i have a problem when he got up there and accepted his reward his award, I mean, and uh, didn't apologize to Chris Rock um, and just apologized to the Academy and she he apologized to Dana, everybody but Chris Rock, the city, the, you know, the, the Humane Society or whatever. And all those tears and, you know, I, I believe at one point the brother said he wanted to be a uh, ambassador or something for peace and unity or freedom or whatever the hell. And I'm thinking to myself, you just slapped a man on stage in front of the world, in front of a audience, but now you're up here crying and talking about you want to be the total opposite of what you just did. Well, how about you start with apologizing and saying I was wrong, regardless of whether you feel like he should apologize, you get that apology later, apologize for what you did. Don't let your uh, apology be a condition of him apologizing. Just be a man and say, hey, you know what? I handled that wrong. I apologize to you for that, Chris Rock. I, I handled that wrong. You pissed me off, but I shouldn't have handled it that way. Can we have that talk? Chris Rock probably would have did. He wasn't like, all right, man. And, I, and I'm willing to bet, you know, again, I got to go back to Ricky. Man, Ricky really laid it down, you know, uh, to a, you know, he, he covered like damn near all the bases for me when he said that, you know, I'm pretty sure that um, Chris Rock would have apologized if he would have just stood up in that audience and said, hey, apologize to my wife. Chris Rock probably would have been like, you right. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, Jada. Uh, let's move on. You know, and you could have avoided all this slapping. So that's uh that's another way that could have gone. And, you know, to me, that would have been more civilized and something more that men would have done. You know, I mean, anybody can fight, man. You ain't going and beating somebody up or fighting somebody. They don't make you a man. All that makes you, to me, is uh, intellectually challenged to where, you know, you don't have any other options to uh, resolve your issues other than, you know, like cavemen or just grunt and fight. You know, it, there's a time if you have to fight, you got to fight. That's that's it, you know, and I ain't afraid of that either. 
But if there's a way that you can resolve an issue without it, it's always wiser to choose that way because at the end, you know what I'm saying, either you're going to win that fight or you're going to lose that fight. But at the end of the day, you know, you ain't really resolved anything because now you just got that person. You know, and me, I'm the type of brother, I ain't going to be looking on my shoulders. So if you put your hands on me and I have to fight you, I'm probably going to have to take your life because I ain't looking back. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be looking over my shoulder. And that's just real talk. You know, so I am that brother that tries to do everything he can to avoid. You can call me soft or punk or whatever. I don't give a damn, but you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to try to avoid that if I can. But if you come at me, you know, you want to put your hands on me, that's a whole nother story. Now you're going to see what you didn't know was there. But anyway, and I'm glad Chris Rock didn't do any of that. You know, and the fact that I was reading also that he didn't press charges, uh, that's... To me, you know, at first I was like, you know, hey, he should have, man. Why didn't he press charges? You know, this dude, you know, and then I started thinking, I'm like, ah, is it really, is it really worth all that, man? You know, something that could be easily resolved. You know, we, we do go quick to, you know, that could hem this man life up. You know, yeah, I know he slapped you. That's, that's embarrassing. Filing charges, does that come down to, you know, now I want to screw him over because of my pride because I couldn't bust him up like I wanted to, you know, now. I'm going to file choice and make his life hell and, you know, all that. Is it really worth it, man? I mean, to me, I think not filing charges is another example of Chris Rock just showing that, dude, I'm classier than you. Yeah, I, I told a, a, a foul joke, you know, it was shitty, you know. I mean, if you would have given me the chance to apologize, maybe he probably would have apologized again. But I'm classier than you, man. I'm, 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 I got more class, you know, I'm a little classier because I'm not, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not going to let this go any longer than what it has to period you know you, i just got the shit slapped out of me by will smith on national television and i'm gonna move on and i'm gonna let your career suffer from it because of what you did as opposed to you know because it's, it's leaning towards that way you know and you know like uh uh ricky smiley was saying again that uh nobody you know did anybody even go and ask Chris Rock, how he was doing. We don't know. It, it probably could have been somebody backstage like, hey, yo, man, you good? Well, but we don't know that. You know, we know, all we know is that ain't nobody talking about, you know, and it, it, it seems so one-sided, you know, because every, almost everywhere I look, uh, the majority, like if I look at a post with 10 comments, eight of those comments are saying, well, he stood up for his family. He did what he did. Chris Rock got what he deserved. And then there's like two of them saying that, you know, maybe I'm looking in the wrong places, but uh, it seems like the majority of people are jumping on the Will Smith bandwagon for just all out ignorance and violence, you know, which is how I see it. But that's just my opinion. And as far as the Oscars go, is this a, like a stain on the Oscars? And yes, for me, yes. And at the most ill time, come on, man, we got Will Packer producing the Oscars and y'all going to do this, Will? You know, Jada, you know, and that's another question. Does Jada have some part to blame that could she have, you know, held her man back? You know, you see him getting up, you know, this ain't about to be nothing good. Could she have grabbed him like, no, 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 not, not right here, not right now. Now it's not the time, now it's not the place. I know if that's a man, if he gonna do what he gonna do, she can't stop him. You know, I know I'm gonna hear that from women or whatever, but she could at least suggest it, baby, please don't do this, sit down. And, you know, I didn't hear that, you know, I don't know. It, you know, if she did, did she mentally send it to him? You know, I didn't hear it. I didn't see her do anything, you know, but I could be wrong. She could have, and I didn't see it because I wasn't watching. I only just watched the videos after the fact. So y'all tell me, you know, so I ain't going to dwell on that too long, but it seems like that was another way that could have been avoided. And, you know, I totally agree with everybody, you know, about the whole, I ain't going to go back into that, the, the little August dude, that's somebody that should have been slapped, you know, just, just for GP, you know, and I know it ain't cool. It ain't his fault. You know, he was just doing, you know, what he was allowed to do with the, with the, uh, I guess the, uh, the limits or whatever they have on their relationship. You know, this dude's like, all right, cool. You know, uh, I'm a willing participant in this, you know, but man, I mean, come on, man, you, I still feel like you slapped the wrong person, man. You know, there's so many other people you could have slapped. But that that dude would have been at the top of the list for me. But I don't know, maybe y'all had a better understanding than I did. And 
you know, for some people, maybe that joke was worse for the wheel. I don't know. So, you know, a lot of people been asking, like, what is this really about? Is there something more going on with Will? And at first, when I was hearing that, I was like, eh, I don't know. Maybe, you know, maybe it is, it is what it is. He just pissed, you know, maybe he got something against uh, Chris Rock from past jokes and this and that or whatever. But as I look at the video and, you know, dig a little deeper into it, uh, it's possible. It's possible there's something else going on there, you know, that, uh, you know, maybe, you know, I don't know. I don't want to assume about these people's relationship, you know, whether it's good or bad. Is it rocky? Is something else happening? Is he trying to overcompensate? All that stuff is being tossed around. It's out there. And those are valid questions, man. And here's something, too, you know, like people always say, ah, oh, stay out of their business. It's messy or whatever. You know, look, your business is in everybody's living room, kitchen, wherever they watch TV, wherever they get their podcast, whatever, your business is there. So you chose that life to be famous. It's like if if this podcast blew me up tomorrow and all of a sudden I'm famous and everybody know who Michael Griffin Jr. is. I can't say shit when people climbing in my life. You know what I'm saying? I can say stuff. I can be upset about it. But what can you really do? Because, you know what I'm saying? These people that's all in my mix and in my life. They didn't choose this career for me. I chose it. And so I got to live with it and deal with it, you know, the best I can. And that's what I would do, you know, deal with it the best I can. You know, I, I mean, I, I got some shit in my past that, you know, I don't want people knowing about. If some of that come out, well, all right, I guess I got to deal with this shit. You know, yeah, I did that because of this or because of that. You know, like here I am on this podcast. I curse. I write children's books, too. How would that affect? You know what I'm saying? You're like, hey, that's the children's book guy over there cursing on a podcast. Human. You know, and everybody say that, you know, oh, human. Will Smith, he's human. He smacked a dude. It happens. That's a, another defense for Will doing what he do. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't to me, for me still, it wasn't the right thing to do. But I get the argument, too, that he's human. My cousin brought up that argument. You know, he's human. Like, I'm like, yeah, I get it. I see that. You know, I just wish he would have done it differently. As humans, we have to sometimes think and be smarter than that, you know, because we are humans. We're not still caveman humans. But it is what it is. You know, a little immaturity on his part, perhaps. But, you know, for me, I, I kind of think like, you know, after I got to digging around a little bit, Looking at they, I don't know, I don't know, really know how to classify their relationship. They call it open, some whatever. I don't know. It's an open relationship, and maybe for me, you know, the fact that he didn't smack the August dude because you know that was part of their deal or whatever, and uh, in an open relationship, he didn't really offend them as badly as this joke did because I didn't know. I would be one hundred percent honest. I did not know that uh jada had uh that her hair that she was losing her hair i hadn't seen jada in over a year because I, I don't look at her uh red table only when my wife says it's something that i should see and i hadn't seen it since the whole uh entanglement thing and i can't remember i can't even remember if her hair what her hair was like then but i don't think it was all i don't think it was like it was on the oscars uh, last night so when I heard and I didn't even know that she had alopecia and I, I had no idea uh, about any of this and that draws a question that a lot of people saying also did Chris Rock even know that you know you would think that you know he should have but hell I'm here on this earth and I didn't know it you know I mean Rick Chris Rock you know he's in the limelight he's way more popular and famous than me you would think oh he should know but I mean, why should he know about other people's life? I ain't, you know, checking for, you know, oh, who's got this? Who's got what? You know, he, I doubt if he did that before the joke. And I don't think that that joke was meant to be that way. I don't know. I can't assume for Chris Rock, you know, I can't assume he was like trying to be vindictive or whatever, or if he did that on purpose to say that joke. But I thought G.I. Jane was somewhat of a female hero. And that was, you know, I saw the movie. I think the movie was great. It was excellent. I thought, you know, what Demi Moore did in that movie was kind of uplifting, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, moving on, you know, it's for me, it's all about uh, composure and keeping your composure. If 
if you can be upset no matter what agreement, well, if you can keep your composure, no matter what uh, agreement or lifestyle you live with your wife and whether it's open or whatever, and you can uh, keep your composure throughout that whole entanglement stuff. Because, I mean, I ain't never seen a man more um, disrespected for me throughout all of that, you know, when that happened. Because I did watch those, you know, because I was told I needed to see him. And I did watch him. And, you know, it seemed like he was really hurt to me. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I judged that wrong. Maybe I judged his facial expressions and his feelings or whatever wrong. Only he can really tell the truth. But I'm just basing it off of what I saw. It looked like he was really hurt over that. So if you can maintain your composure and move on from that, seems to me like you can maintain your composure and handle this joke from Chris Rock a little better than that. I ain't saying you got to just wash it off. But... You know, just handle that backstage, man. Like everybody else has been saying, handle that backstage. That's something that you, you know what I'm saying? You pull that man to the side and you go have that talk with him. And if he disrespectful, then you smack the shit out of him. If he like, all right, I want to apologize. It's, it's done. All right, you apologize. All right, man, cool. You know, stop bringing her name up. You do that for me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this dude is a professional comedian he got a million other jokes he ain't got to do jokes on jada pinkett smith you know so and i'm sure chris rock like all right man cool i'm done i'm done we we gonna move on past her we good so because it ain't gonna affect his bottom line his dollar rather he i ain't gonna get to a show and be like oh damn i want my money back he didn't tell a jada pinkett smith joke you know because i laugh i'm good so i'm gonna end this up with this i think that I think that something needs to be done. I think uh, Will needs to, this is what I think. And you can disagree or whatever, but I think Will needs to apologize to Chris Rock, period. And I think if he wants Chris Rock to apologize, because I do think Chris Rock should apologize to Jada because, you know what I'm saying, even if he, even rather he meant that joke, you know, to be uplifting, like, you know, the whole G.I. Jane thing, you know, it's funny, but she was a hero, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Even if he meant it that way, he should apologize because of the way it made her feel. I didn't know that you was going to take it that way. I apologize. You know what I'm saying? It won't happen again. Will Smith should apologize. I'm sorry, man. I shouldn't have did that. You know, I shouldn't have handled it that way. It won't happen again and move forward because a lot of people have been saying this as well. Now you're running into the area of or comedians going to be allowed to tell jokes on stage now without having to worry about somebody. Cause everybody like, Oh, he was defending his family. You know, come to a smack. But I've been seeing a lot of people saying, okay, we'll keep that same energy. When Tiffany Haddish get on stage and say something bad about somebody and they come up there and smack her. Hey, he was just protecting his family. You know what I'm saying? Or if, um, my boy, I don't like to bring up, you know, Cedric entertainer, you go up there and smack Cedric entertainer. You're going to have all the St. Louis on you point blank period. So I'm go up there, but same thing, you know, I'm joking, but you know, what I'm saying the same thing. If, if somebody goes up there and smacks some other, you know, a uh, comedian, like think about DL Hughley, man, come on. I went to one of his shows and I was thankful to be, uh, not in his, uh, sight of view, because if you ever seen DL on TV or been to one of his shows, you knew what DL was going to do at the end of that show. He was going to find as many people in that audience to finish up those last 10, 15 minutes, whatever, he was going to join on you. You know, he'd give his good show, his jokes in the middle, but he saved his time for the end of that show. He going to join. And so you telling me all those people should go rushing the stage to smack him because you know, he joined on somebody's husband, somebody's wife, somebody's child, daughter, whatever. And the shit was funny. Yeah, so, you know, you go into a show, you know, and you ain't, I I don't, I don't know, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, send me some emails, text, whatever. Uh, I don't get my number out, so you can't text me. But anyway, send me some emails or whatever if if I'm wrong on this. But I don't, you know, like I said, I don't watch the Oscars, but I, I kind of thought that they always had a little joke telling, right, at the Oscars. So if you know you can't handle that, don't go. And don't be sitting right up in the front. As well, man, because I tell you right now, I ain't no way in here. When I when I went to that one concert with him at it, I uh, was like, let's make sure we don't get any seats that is up front. Because, you know, even though I feel like I'm dressed cool, but shoot, this brother can find anything. You know, you have one thread hanging 
And DL gonna find that and be like, oh, you thought you was you thought you was safe tonight, didn't you? <laughs> so, but is that what we is that what it's coming down to? You know, you know, you gotta protect the artist as well as you know, Will wanting to protect his wife and his family. And for me, I think I really hope these brothers can apologize to each other and squash this so it goes away as quickly as possible and doesn't impact anyone's career. Cause I would hate to see Will Smith's legacy take a hit for this because I'm a fan, like I said, I'm a fan of both of these brothers. I'm still gonna watch their movies. I'm still gonna go to comedy events with these brothers at it. And it just sickens me and it's, it, it saddens me that this happened on what, you know what I'm saying? I, I, what, I, what I would say in Oscars that was finally our night. And by that, you know, I don't know, I don't do a podcast where you can see who I am, but I am an African-American or black or whatever you want to call it. But I feel like, you know, this was done on something that was our night. We had a night to shine. And now all anybody can ever talk about, including myself, is this. You know, I can't tell you who won. I know Will Smith won an award and I know some other people won awards, but, you know, that's secondary to what happened. You know, and we constantly keep doing that to ourselves. And the question is, when are we going to stop? When are we going to stop doing that to ourselves? And, you know, this isn't, you know, I don't like to make everything, you know, so, you know, oh, it's about black, it's about white or whatever, because everybody got their issues and they got their thing. You know, there's a lot of white people out here that want to see us stop doing this to ourselves, too. And so do I. You know, it's, it's just not good. And at the end of the day, we, we got to start doing better. You know, so just think about that. You know, I hope y'all have a wonderful the rest of y'all week. You know, I don't usually podcast. This is a Monday, and I'm I'm gonna do this and toss it out there. But you know, let me know what you think as usual. Uh, thanks for joining me. Go to my web page, freeagentfans.com, or you can uh, check me out wherever you get your podcast from. Subscribe. Let me know what you think. Correct me if I'm wrong, you know, and just keep in mind my podcast. You know, I do my research and I look up the stories, but then I give my opinion. It's purely my opinion. If you disagree with me, let's talk about it. You know, I, I don't have no problem with somebody that disagrees. You know, open my eyes. You know, teach me something I didn't know. Y'all stay good out there and stay safe. Creationfans.com.